Hi, I'm Robin Bensing. Welcome to Chow Time. I want to share with you one of my cake recipes. It's what I make when I really want to impress someone. It's beautiful. It's delicious. It's completely decadent. And guess what? There's no baking involved. First thing I'm going to do is make the filling for this seven layer Italian ricotta tort cake. So I've got ricotta cheese. This is a 15 ounce container. So I just put that in a bowl. Then I'm going to add two tablespoons of heavy cream. quarter of a cup of sugar, two tablespoons of amaretto, which is of course an almond liqueur. Then some chocolate chips. A third of a cup. And then some chopped walnuts, a quarter of a cup. So I'm just going to blend all this together. And we'll set that aside. Now for the cake part. This is a 10 and 3 quarters ounce frozen pound cake. Why it's not 11, I don't know. But it's frozen and I just bought it at the grocery store. So I'm going to take a nice, long, sharp knife. I'm going to cut it in half. It's kind of tough, but just work with it, because it's best if you do it while it's frozen. And then I'm going to cut each piece in half again. So I have four slices of pound cake. And if it breaks, it's okay, because you're going to be putting a lot of fillings in it, like that piece. So I'm going to put that on the bottom. Then I'm going to take some of my ricotta filling and put it on generously like that. Spread it around a little bit. Put on another slice of cake. Press down gently. More filling. And then I put the top on, but I don't put the brown side on. I put Put it like that. Press down gently. Now I'm going to make some decadent chocolate espresso buttercream frosting. I'm going to start by blending one and a half sticks of softened butter with some unsweetened powdered cocoa, a half a cup. So let's blend those things together first. Now we shall add a quarter of a cup of milk and two and a half cups of powdered sugar. You don't have to sift it. So I'm going to add a little bit of each. And I'm going to do this in a couple of takes, just so it blends really nicely. And 
add a couple of more very important ingredients. I'm going to add a teaspoon of instant espresso powder and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And you just want to mix that in. By the way, this consistency is perfect. If you want it a little bit looser, add a little bit more milk. If you want it a little bit thicker, add a little bit more confectioner sugar. But I think this will work. And now we frost our cake. covered nicely. Then I take a damp paper towel and I wipe up all those little excess things. There, I think that looks presentable. Now you can top it with whatever you like. I have some toffee bits that I'm going to sprinkle on top. You could put Oh my gosh, uh, chocolate covered coffee beans, you could put uh, white chocolate chips, you could put dark chocolate chips. But now, I'm going to put this in the refrigerator for at least 12 hours or overnight because I want the amaretto to soak down into that pound cake, I want the flavors to marry, I want this to kind of set. So we're just going to leave this alone for a while. I'm back. And while you were sleeping, I decided to enhance this cake a little bit more. So I made a border of malted milk balls just to give it a nice finished look. And then I washed uh, some silk flowers I had. And I just set them around on the plate. So it looks beautiful when you serve it. And just wait till you see when I cut inside of it. frosting is killer. The filling is fabulous with the amaretto and ricotta cheese. And you know when people say, wow, how did you make this? Just tell them you slaved over it for more than 12 hours. <laughs>